All right, guys, in continuation to this Panasonic CFY2, um, there's another, I made another video just a little bit ago, um, <clears throat> removing the lid, removing the inverter board from the lid, replacing that inverter board, and then removing the LCD from its bezel, and then reattaching your new LCD to its bezel. Um, on this one, I'm going to show you how to remove this keyboard. Uh, things that you're going to need are number zero screwdriver, Phillips head, a metal pry tool, plastic pry tool, either or. I like the metal sometimes, I don't know. Um, you're also going to need thermal paste. Um, on these, when you remove this key, and gloves, get some gloves because this is, if it was, if it was as disgusting as this one was, I mean, there's just thermal paste all over the damn place. I'll show you uh, the thermal paste. I already cleaned this one off. Like I said in my last video, I've already opened this one because I was going to uh, use these parts on another computer. Then I decided to make a video. So here we go. First things first, we got to remove the battery. The battery comes off very, very easily. On the left hand side, when you're looking at it face down, there's an unlock. Then on the right side, there's the latch. And then you just slide it out. Six screws holding in your keyboard. It'll be the six top screws here. Okay, so let's get those out of here. Okay, so remember six screws, six top screws of the. And then let me just quick, just in case you're, you can't really tell, I'm gonna mark them with some. Some painter's tape for you. Okay. I don't do any video editing or any of that stuff, so I can't add little cool arrows or add pictures within. So there you go, those six screws right there. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can just flip this unit over. Now we have uh, four ta uh, three, yeah, four tabs. One, two, three, four on the top, and two one on each side that hold the keyboard down so uh, let me try with a plastic pry tool this is why I use this is why I have two of them uh, you never know okay now sometimes this is really a pain in the butt so I'm just gonna use the metal pry tool this one gets under the latches a lot easier skinnier thinner Okay, so then we do it on the other sides, and then this will come off. There'll be thermal paste here, here, and there. There's gonna be a thermal paste on this part of your keyboard here, just lathered on. Bring it down here. Okay, so yeah, so there'll be thermal paste all splattered all over the damn place. It's just gross. So it's just a messy, messy cleanup. So you're going to have to clean all that up. Then you remove this little plate here, and then there's more thermal paste under here. Then you got to remove this one, and then there's obviously thermal paste on both of those chips, processor and video chip. To remove the keyboard, we simply, you have two pull tabs. They slide up. Then you can slide this out. Then you... Do the same thing with this one. You can use your fingernail. I have to because I'm holding this cam the phone, so then you just lift it up and there you have it. Be then before you obviously you just connect these back to where they go. They only fit in one because there's a wide one and a more narrower one. And they fit their connectors. Then you apply your thermal paste on the chips. I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna this is a part unit. Then you put this back on here. Um, I probably would not put as much thermal paste as they put on there, but just a decent amount so that the heat gets transferred. Put some on here, put your plate down, put some here, here, so that it makes a contact with this film here. Alright, well there you have it. Removal of a keyboard on a Panasonic CFY2. Thank you.